Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is our first contest of the evening to be fought under KWU Senshi rules, which for the uninitiated is Muay Thai. That means elbows, knees, shins, the art of eight weapons. And back with me is another hero legend, uh, Ernesto Hoos. Welcome back, Ernesto. It's Thank been you. great commentating yes. with you this evening. Yes, and what about is. that last fight with the head kick knockout? Yeah, great. I mean... Out of nowhere. It uh, makes me think out uh, from the time uh, I did, did those kind of things. Yes. Uh, it's a long time ago. But <laughs> yeah, stood upright, yeah. close distance, yeah. and bang, right on yeah. the button. In the right moment, the timing the was The timing great. was fantastic, wasn't yeah. it? That was beautiful. Yeah. Poetry in motion. Yeah. So we have here our first Senshi rules Muay Thai, elbows included here. 95 kilos, big guys again. Stiff low kicks coming from Morocco. The red corner, and he returns the favor. Simon Mendes from Spain in, I was going to say, in the purple shorts. They both got purple shorts. <laughs> so, the blue glove, Simon Mendes from Spain, facing from Morocco, Fekaki Osmani. Hit in the wrong spot. It happened a little bit too much uh, tonight. Yep. It's very difficult. If it's throwing an inside kick. If you're going to throw an inside kick, you just don't throw it that high. Throw it on yeah, the inside exactly. of the leg. Yeah. Yeah. It's always the the, the, the fault of uh, of the the thrower. And you know, if your if your opponent, as you say, your your opponent's stepping in, mm -hmm. it's gonna hit higher than you, than you intended it to. So yeah. try and prepare for that uh, that to happen. Yeah. And we we've, we've seen it in the past, fighters they're not intentionally trying to kick the groin no, no, of their no, opponent, no. but they've ended up being no. disqualified because it lands there. Exactly, how it happened to me. Uh, my my opponent got disqualified because of that. Uh huh. Nice high kicks, but blocked very well there from Mendes. <laughs> they both showed their weapons already. And it's interesting because you wouldn't say that Mendes looks like a world-class athlete, but he's flexible. Yeah. And, he, and he's got power there. He got power and he got a great high, right high kick. Yeah, that's, what, that's what this makes also very interesting because... I, I don't know them, and, and I see them now, and uh, they surprised me. And we saw it earlier. Yeah. With, with um, a guy looked like he was chiseled out of black rock, and the Romanian, young Romanian beat him. Exactly. Uh, and that was just incredible. Yeah. In a fourth and final e extra round, yeah. which yeah. gave everyone a real bonus. Well. Yeah. I think up till now we have seen uh, some excellent fights. Uh, Yep, I think tonight's matchups and fights have been probably the best Senshi this year. Yeah, I think so. Getting stronger and stronger as yep. our journey continues. Nice low kick. And again, but that was checked. Yeah, but apparently uh, you still uh, suffer from it. Well, when you're, ch when you're checking a kick, mm -hmm. And there, there's different methods of checking it, you know, with the yeah. upper part of your shin. Exactly. And just, well, it, that's affecting him. This is this is what he, he kicks on the calf. It looks like he kicks on the calf. Mm. So you're obviously even you're taking a bit of pain on the on the hey! outer part of your lower <laughs> shin. Um, that. Um, yeah. You do that uh, sometimes. Anterior tibialis muscle. Exactly. But it's going to take. You, you end up in pain, it's not going to shut your leg down like when you kick the thigh. Not right away. But it takes its toll. Exactly. Um, I have done it in a fight one time with, with was not a good fight and I just thought, okay, let, let's check who has the hardest chins. <laughs> so I just kicked him, kicked him on his shin. And he couldn't take them. And at, land, at the end, I, I beat him on points, but also because he couldn't take the kicks anymore. But would you do that in a tournament? You couldn't no, do it? No, of no, 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 no. In the last fight, maybe in the final, but yeah. not in the not in the first yeah. two fights. No. And that's where tactics in a tournament yeah. really do come into play. Yeah, true. Um, and we've seen it before that 
you kick the inside mm -hmm. of the lead leg yes. of the shin, yeah. which can be horribly painful. But if you yeah. get it wrong and the other guy checks it and you hit the fat part of his shin, you can snap your own leg. Um, it hurts for sure. Yeah. But actually, pain management is a big part of kickboxing. Yeah. Yeah. I would never stop because of the pain. The way he... The way Mendez is checking those kicks, yeah. is that is really going to take its toll. Yeah, but he gets them. He gets them straight. I mean, I mean, uh, if somebody kicks you like that, it's easy to to, to defend. Oh, great! Uh, nice front, front kick team. to the head. This was a good low kick, it was a good. Nice jab from the Moroccan. Big overhand looping right from Mendes. Yeah, I just wanted to say how good he is with the, with the jab and keeping his opponent on distance. But then he had to, had to eat an, uh, a, a nice uh, overhand right. We haven't seen many elbows yet. No. No, it looks like these fighters are not used to use the elbows that much. Oh, now, it, see? You there see, you go. should have said it before. <laughs> he probably heard me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> they look to me, it, the way their stance is and the mm -hmm. way their movement is, that, that they're kickboxers who are, who are fighting under these uh, Muay Thai style yeah, rules. Yeah, they're not used to it. it. It looks like they're not used to it. Mm. Because now it is, it is quite easy to, to throw an inside elbow but they don't. Which, they, they're matched up fairly, yeah. but if either of these guys came up against a seasoned Muay Thai fighter who was Ooh. used to elbows, that could be very dangerous. That could be very dangerous. But really, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that they, uh, oh, great right? Yep. Great overhand. I'm surprised the way they, they kick the cuff. I, I still, but maybe I am, old-fashioned because I it wouldn't work with me I would, they would break their leg I would block them so short I would check that you say check eh? I would check them so short that uh, they would hurt their legs with the upper part of your shin exactly yeah that thick bone yeah um, and it's gonna hurt you but it's gonna hurt them more no, it's gonna hurt them it's not gonna <laughs> hurt me at all no? Oh. No. I want to fight ones like that. Just from checking the kick. Yeah. There's uh, a nice elbow attempt. Yeah. Spinning back elbow. So we last remaining few seconds of the second round. And I forgot to call what I thought the first round was. Um, uh, it, Difficult it, one to score. it looks quite quite even uh, up till now. They both they both score. They both have their good moves. Uh, they both have to take some some punches sometimes and some kicks. It's quite quite, in my opinion, quite even. But are they scoring it under Muay Thai scoring? No, they don't. Be, I don't. I didn't see so much elbows. I uh, I saw one uh, inside elbow here and a uh, spinning elbow. And but they didn't score. No knees in the clinch either. Not so many knees. So they are not, in my opinion, not not like experienced Muay Thai fighters. Well, if you look at um, the Moroccan's credentials, he's a he's a world Muay Thai champion in Lumpedi Stadium. Well, then I should have seen far more, far and, more knees and, and far six, more elbows of him. Six times Moroccan Thai boxing champion. Okay. And yeah, he has more titles than I have. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see, third and final round. And let's say yeah. that it's even up yeah. to now. Everything yeah. to do in this third round. I think the Moroccan is scoring more points. Definitely in this early part of the third and final round the third and final round well yeah, it, will, it will be under these rules there is no extra round I believe okay yeah 
There's that big right hand, which could yeah. be dangerous if it landed. If it lands, yes, that's the thing. Now, tactics-wise, I mean, the, the Moroccan has got a lot. He's rangy. Yeah, yeah. He's built for using elbows and knees. Well, he's built for keeping distance and then go inside with the elbow. Yeah. Yeah, or 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 a, or a good punch. That was a nice kick. Yes. And the uh, Mendes corner there, you s you hear him saying arriba. They want him to come forward. They want him to get busy. Yeah. We're, we're halfway through the third round now. Well, he has to get more busy because. I think he's ahead uh, two rounds, uh, behind the two, uh, two rounds. Um. Yep, even if it is close, mm -hmm. as you say, it can be close or far if yep. you're around ahead, you're around ahead. Exactly. Uh, oh, there's a nice oh, elbow. Great elbow. And he's cut him. Oh, he's cut. He's, he's cut. cut. He's cut. Now the referees yeah. stop the fight. That yeah. cut opened up. Great move. Quite a bit of blood. Early yeah. on. No. It looks like he can continue, but... They're just checking it out. Yeah. Doctor's going to have a look at it. And sometimes it's deceiving. It's putting a little bit of adrenaline on there, yeah, perhaps. It's, it's, it's just uh, in the hairline, I think. I think it would be okay. But let's see what the doctor says. You see, if everybody had haircuts like us and Esther, it would be much easier for the doctors. Yeah. So that can be a recommendation. But, but also for the for the opponent who throws <laughs> elbows. <laughs> so we're uh, this is giving both fighters a chance to recover. Yep. The, the Moroccan Fikaki Otmani mm -hmm. is he's gonna have some confidence here uh, growing because he's cut the Spaniard, Simon Mendez. But Simon Mendes might come out of this corner thinking, right, I've got a minute left of the final round. I'm going to go guns blazing. Well, but he has to uh, because he's behind, in, my, in my count, he's behind on points. So he has to, he has to work now. So he has to put pressure. But he will get the elbows and he will, he will get countered. Yep. 40 seconds now left of this third round. Mendes cut by the Moroccan, but it wasn't anything serious. Blood coming again. I'm not sure there's too much blood there to, um, to keep stopping the fight, especially with only 20 seconds left. No. Obviously, we want to look after them, but these, to the referee. at this level, yeah. let them fight. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I should think too. They're not, they're not beginners. So, there it is, last 10 seconds coming up. And I think on my card, the Moroccan's done enough. Yeah, the Moroccan is winning this fight. And I think it's going to be a unanimous decision. I think so. To the red corner, anything else will be very, very surprising. It would. <laughs> and we were talking about elbows all the way through that. Yeah. And literally, the only elbow that landed mm -hmm. did the damage. And it was damage that would have shone in the eyes of the judges exactly. as damaging. Exactly. So, ladies and gentlemen, please remember that we have three types of rules at the KWU. We have the sentry rules, which allows elbows as in the tradition of Muay Thai, uh, which is what we have just been witnessing now. The judge scoring cards for this kind of rule set is a little bit different from the other rules that we've witnessed tonight. Fortunately, we also get to watch a open rules set tonight, which will be the MMA style of fighting. It will be the last fight, fight number 13. The judges are now working hard to get the numbers right. Thank you. 
And we have the judges' scorecards. For our president, Tater, we also have Mr. Sam Greco up in the ring. It is a unanimous decision. Unanimous decision. 27 to 30, 29 to 30, and 28 to 30 in favor of the red corner. There we go. You called it, Ernesto. And I think this decision is absolutely fair. Mendez, the Spaniard, is disappointed. But he has to go away and watch the replay and see that he could have done more during that fight. He should have done more if he wanted to have to win, if he wanted to win the fight. And we say he should have done more. Yeah. He could have done more. He's, he uh, should and there's loads left in the tank. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And that's what I don't understand uh, sometimes, that fighters uh, are not completely tired and losing and then being disappointed or being... Uh, uh, don't think the the, the judges uh, made the right decision. Yes. Then do something extra. That's what I think. Yeah, losing is forgivable. Yeah, but not giving a hundred percent is not forgivable. Well, not giving a hundred percent when necessary. Sometimes you see fighters don't give hundred percent because they know they're winning the fight. Okay, uh -huh, they will not uh -huh. take any risk anymore. I can understand that. But if you really want to win and uh, you still have enough gas in the tank, you have to go for it. Yes. That's what yeah. I think. 